Hey guys, welcome to another pass, grab, or undecided video. If you're new to my channel or new to my pass, grab, or undecided series, today we are here to talk about some new makeup releases, products that typically release in the month that I'm uploading. So these are products that are releasing in and around February. And I got this idea for this series based off of Samantha March's Will I Buy It? So I always have Samantha listed down below as well as her community playlist. If you like videos like this, where people are talking about new makeup releases and if they want to purchase them or not, check out that community playlist. A ton of YouTubers here film videos like that. And so Samantha kinda put it, put us all together so that you can check out a lot more videos like this one. So why don't we go ahead and talk about some new makeup releases. So Kathleen Lights has collaborated with ColourPop yet again for another Zodiac themed makeup release. She's actually coming out with an extension to her Zodiac collection and she came up with 12 new loose pigments. Apparently this is a new formula. I just watched Kathleen's video today, actually this morning, and she was talking about how she wasn't a huge fan of their pigment formula to begin with, but then they came back and said that they reformulated it. Now she really loves it. It is supposed to be more pigmented, last longer, and more reflective. So Kathleen collaborated with ColourPop, came out with 12 shades. They are either $6 each, or you can get the full set for $70 on the ColourPop website. I did check at Ulta. It's not there. I think this is exclusive to ColourPop Cosmetics. Now this did actually release at the end of January, January 31st, so it is available now. Initially, I did not watch Kathleen's video right away because I thought, you know what, I'm not really a huge pigment person. I don't really like getting messy, to be perfectly honest. That's why I don't like glitter. I don't like mess. I don't like the mess of like glitter and pigments and things like that. So I'm typically not a huge pigment person. So I didn't even watch her video. I was like, you know what, I just, I don't think this is for me. I'm gonna pass on it. But then this morning, I was watching Samantha March's Will I Buy It video, no surprise there, and she was talking about how she kind of had the same initial reaction. She didn't think she wanted to get these pigments. She watched Kathleen's video, she watched That Girl Shay's video where she did eye swatches with the different pigments, and it kind of changed her mind. And now she's a little bit more interested in picking some of these up. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and watch Kathleen's video and watch that girl Shay's eye swatches. I did. And I purchased three of the shades. I did purchase three of these shades. Now today, when I am filming, February 9th, I do film on the weekends, so I do pre-film. They are currently having a sale on the ColourPop website for... 20% off. And at first I thought, surely it's not going to be 20% off of new products, you know, collabs, things like that. But I was wrong. They hit 7 million on Instagram, which kind of sparked this 20% off. So I went online and actually, today, I don't know how long this sale was going to run for, but you could have gotten the Zodiac kit. Oh, it actually says it's out of stock. Well, you could have gotten it for $56, but then they do have the individual pigments for $4.80 each instead of the $6. So I did pick up three shades for the $4.80 each, and I purchased the Goat, which is like this beautiful bronze shade, the Archer, which is more of like a purple with like a blue shift, and also the Scorpion because I am a Scorpio, and that is more of like a burgundy maroon cranberry shade. Those were the three pigments I picked up. I figured I probably will not wear these on like an everyday day-to-day -day basis. However, the bronze one, the goat, looked really beautiful. I think I will probably get the most wear out of that one. Had to get the Scorpion because I'm a Scorpio, but then the Archer did kind of draw me in because when you mix it with Fix Plus, it's like a purple blue shade and I almost for a split second I almost purchased the whole bundle but I'm glad that I didn't because after I made my purchase I was thinking about it and I was like I'm not going to wear these all the time these are gonna be more like special occasions if I'm in the mood for something a little different a little bit more of a pop then I will reach for these so I I really would have <laughs> if I had purchased the whole thing these just kind of would have gotten pushed into a drawer and 
not used a ton of. So I am excited. I picked three of the shades up and I will be filming a video when I get them. So be on the lookout for that. Now, Benefit Cosmetics is coming out with their spring 2019 collection. They normally come out with like these big palettes that have like blushes and sometimes a hula bronzer in there. And they always kind of catch my eye because I think it's really cool. It's, it's a really nice product if you don't have any of their blushes already and you've been wanting to try them out. But as of February 26th, online on Benefit Cosmetics and online at Sephora, March 1st in stores, you will be able to pick up their spring 2019 collection. They are coming out with two new Hoola Bronzer shades. I have the original Hoola Bronzer. I love it. I think that it... I'm showing you, but that's not what I'm wearing today. I think that it works really nice with my skin tone, but... They do have a Hoola Light. If you are very, very fair, they already had that one. And then they're coming out with two new shades in Caramel and Toasted that are actually a little bit deeper than the original Hoola Bronzer. So I think that's awesome that they are coming out with those. Then, of course, they have their palettes. One is the Cheerleaders Pink Squad Palette for $60, which has Hoola, Dallas, Dandelion, California, and Tickle. And Tickle is new. Now, someone like me, who already has Hoola and Dallas, $60 is a little much to purchase three different shades. So I am passing on it. I'm not picking it up. But if you've been wanting to try out these products, I want to say that their box products are like $28 or something like that. So it is a really good deal. They also are coming out with the Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad, again for $60, which will have Gold Rush, Cookie, which is new, the new Caramel Bronzer, Hula, and Coralista. I, again, I already have Hula. I don't think Caramel would work for me, so I don't really want to purchase this for just three shades, and I don't really, I don't really feel like I need two contours in one, although Gold Rush looks really pretty. I've always kind of looked at that one, given that one a double take, but I just, I, I don't think it would make sense for me to make that purchase. But then they do also have a little mini pink squad, which has Dandelion, California, and Tickle, which is new. And that one, I don't see a price on the Trend Mood 1 Instagram page. Maybe it'll be half the price. Maybe it'll be $30. I have no idea, but I'm going to pass on that one as well, just because I don't really think that it's for me. I don't really... The dandelion, I think, is too light. Tickle is very pink, not really right up my alley, and... California, I've kind of gone back and forth on. Like, it looks pretty, but I don't think it's a palette that I would reach for. So, this is a pass for me, but I think it's great that Benefit does come out with these collections because I know that a lot of people, like, if you want to try them out, you really get a lot of product for a fairly reasonable price, in my opinion. $60 is a lot, but four or five products, I think that's really awesome. And props to Benefit for coming out with two deeper shades in their most loved bronzer, their Hoola bronzer. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I actually don't know when this video will go up. It might go up the day before Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. But KKW, or Kim Kardashian's beauty line, KKW Beauty, is coming out with a Valentine's Day lip set. So there are three different lip sets. They are $65 each, or you can purchase the individual lipsticks for $18. This was actually available on February 3rd at the KKW pop-up, it says, and then February 5th on their website. So you do have like a red collection, you have a pink collection, and you have a nude collection. Now for a second, I paused and I was like, do I want that pink collection? Pink 5 looks right up my alley. Pink 1 looks nice. Nude 1 looks nice. But for $65, I am on a low buy. I haven't tried anything from KKW Beauty yet. And it's not because I'm like, oh, it's Kim Kardashian. I don't want to. I just haven't. I just haven't tried anything yet. So I kind of did a double take. I kind of thought about it. But I have so many lipsticks that I'm not using. I'm trying to reel myself in a little bit because I have a ton of duplicates. I have a ton of lip shades. I recently did a declutter. I still have a ton of lipsticks and I just I need to I need to tone it down. 
And like I said, I'm on a low buy, so calm down, Kelly. You don't need absolutely every release that comes out. So these are cool little deals. I mean, if you want to try out KKW, I do like that you can get it, get them individually or as a lip set. So that's a pass for me, but uh, if you are going to get these, let me know which ones you are eyeing. I would love to know, and I would also like to know if you have tried out her lipstick formula, what do you think about it? I've been very open to the fact that I absolutely love Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks and their velvet lipsticks, but um, yeah, I haven't tried KKW Beauty, so if you've tried them, let me know what you think. Jouer Cosmetics. This is another one that made me do a little double take, okay? I recently filmed a current wish list, so I can link that right here if you're interested in checking that out, but I have been wanting one of the Jouer blush bouquets, the one in Adore, since they came out, and I just have never purchased it. I actually picked it up for my friend Smags for Christmas this year, and I passed on it myself, but it is a makeup product that I am dreaming about, thinking about. It's on my wish list. I want to get it. However, Jouer Cosmetics released February 1st online on their website. They released a blush palette, Bouquet de Amour. It's a six shade blush palette. And it looks like they have two new shades. This will be $42, or it is $42, and it's limited edition. Again, just in time for Valentine's Day. So you do have a, let me zoom in so I can see this, a Treasure Me shade, which is a warm, shimmering bronze tangerine, Marigold, which is a warm, shimmering golden peach, Nomi, which is a cool, shimmering soft pink, Adore Me, which I want, which is a matte warm dusty peach, Kiss Me, which is a matte warm carnation pink, and Seduce Me, which is a matte cool berry pink. At first I was like, oh my gosh, I think I want this. Like, I think this is going to be a grab for me. But then, I thought to myself, do you really want all of these shades or do you just want Adore Me? Like, what is it that you want? And when I looked at the swatches, I wouldn't wear Treasure Me, probably wouldn't wear Marigold, might wear know me, adore me, yes, kiss me, too pink, seduce me, too deep. So it wouldn't make sense for me to purchase this blush palette for $42 if I'm only going to use two shades. So this is going to be a pass for me, but I was going back and forth. I was undecided for a while. I felt like $42 was a really good deal for six blushes. But I just, I want to be smarter in 2019 about my purchases. I don't want to make makeup purchases that just go in a drawer and get tucked away until I feel like using it again. So that's kind of why I'm on a low buy. Well, that amongst other things. I mean, I talked about it in my low buy video. But this looks beautiful, but I'm going to pass on it. I still just, I'm going to keep adore me in the back of my mind. I still really want to get that one. I want to try that one out, but... Let me know what you guys think about this blush palette. Definitely, definitely made me do a double take. Now, Anastasia Beverly Hills is releasing their Spring 2019 collection, and she has two different sets. There are eyeshadow quads, a daytime and a sunset, and then four different lip shades. Two of them, I think, are liquid lipsticks, and two of them are lip glosses. So it looks like you can get the PR box, which will have all of these products for $50. An individual quad, if you just want to get the daytime or the sunset quad, they will be $32 each. The liquid lipsticks will be $22 each. And then the lip glosses are $16 each. Oh wait, when I mentioned the price of the PR box, it's $50 for the daytime collection with the quad and two liquid lipsticks or $48 for the Sunset Collection, which has the quad and two lip glosses. So they do have two different collections. Each quad has four eyeshadow shades. In the daytime quad, you do have Papaya and Sand Castle as your mattes. You have Rose Quartz and Sunny as your shimmers. And then in the Sunset Quad, you do have Birkin, which is a fan favorite, as a matte. Horizon as a matte and streak and blue flash as your duochrome shimmer shades. So, I'm undecided. I am undecided on one product. 
the daytime quad. I kind of want it. So the daytime quad would be $32 and you are getting four shades. I'm not interested in the sunset quad. Too cool toned for me. Not interested in any of the lippies. The two liquid lipsticks, Sunset Peach and Bellini, are very like metallic and that's just not my thing. And then Pink Daiquiri and Blue Hawaii, the lip glosses, again, very like metallic-y, not really my thing. But I can't lie. That daytime quad looks beautiful. That sunny shade, I actually just watched Mel Thompson film a video where she created looks with these two palettes and swatched the lippies. That sunny shade looked so beautiful. I'm not sure that I have anything like it in my collection. And then rose quartz, I mean I might have something like that in my collection, but just the combination of the four, they look so pretty, the swatches look so pretty, I think I want it, but I'm undecided just because I'm like, are you going to get that much use out of it? Like, will you reach for it? Will you use it? Do you have anything like this in your collection? So, like I said, I'm on a no-buy. I'm buying three products a month, so I'm trying to be very selective in what I purchase, but I'm kind of leaning, kind of kind of leaning toward a grab there on the daytime palette. So I'll keep you posted. Then I did want to end this video with a little update. In my last pass grab or undecided, which I can link here if you haven't caught that one, the one that I posted in January, I mentioned that Urban Decay was coming out with their Naked Reloaded. And I did say that's a pass for me. It's still a pass for me, but I didn't have a lot of information at the time. So in case you are interested in the Naked Reloaded, I wanted to give you the updated information. There are 12 new neutral eyeshadows. The four outer pans will be larger because they believe that those will be the shades that you use the most. And then they have like some mattes and metallics, iridescent micro shimmers. This is a little bit cheaper than their other, their other like naked family palettes, I believe, because this one is $44. And I'm pretty sure that the Urban Decay Naked Families have been in the realm of like $50, $52. So I think this one is a little bit cheaper, but it is available online on the Urban Decay website on February 18th. You can get it online at Sephora on February 27th or Sephora in stores on March 7th. So still a pass for me, but I did want to update you guys and was interested in purchasing it or if you wanted to hear more about that there you go. But otherwise, that is going to do it for this video. This is it for my Pass Grab or Undecided series. If you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know. If you have some items that you are thinking about passing on or grabbing this month that are releasing new makeup items, let me know in the comments down below because I love videos like this and I love to hear kind of what you guys think, what you're eyeing, what you want to purchase, what you want to pick up. But otherwise, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're subscribed before you go, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!